I'm today with Mohammed, and Mohammed is an expert on fruit bats and he's going to tell us about a phenomenon which happens in Freetown with the cotton tree and a migration of bats. Mohammed, tell us about it. What happens? Well, in Freetown we have a lot of bats anyway. Every morning they come to the centre of the country tree and then they eat parts of the leaves and they shit through the mouth of the bats. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mohammed, for that. <laughs> at around half past six, they, they try to get to their destination and they already move together. They didn't walk apart, they always walk in group, fly together in group anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Should we have a look at them? The yeah. <laughs> look at this. Now, the cotton tree is over there, and I might, they are just literally a stream of them. I'm going to focus in on the cotton tree. And if you can make out all those little um, bats in the air, and they literally are full of the air, the air's full of them as they're flying. Any more backpacks? <laughs> and as Mohammed so eloquently put it, they shit through their mouths, which is quite a strange thing. Um, How much do they weigh? Where do they go, Mohammed? Yeah. Sorry. Oh. They look like an animal. Yeah, an animal and a half animal, half just like a bird. <laughs> just because they have feather, but their face look like animals. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> so it, it's like a flying animal. Yeah, flying animal. Not a bird. <laughs> flying squirrel. Well, we put a <laughs> flying squirrel. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> well, I guess you put in kind of in the group of birds anyway, because. Huh. They do fly. A flying rat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. They look like rats. Rats that have wings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, let's just see if we can get one. It's, they're not easy. Very interesting. They've got coconuts there, but they're not going to land in the exactly. tree. 